Thank you for joining us on Data Cloud Now, where we bring you the latest in all things data in business and industry. I'm joined by Armin Petrosian, CEO and co-founder at Coles, along with Jay Gimple, CDO at Tube Science. Gentlemen, great to have you on the program today. Thanks so much, Ryan. Pumped to be here. Thank you. You know, Armin, great sitting down with you again. How are you allowing your clients to deliver data today and scale tomorrow? Yeah, it's a great question. And when we set out on the mission to start this company, we had a lot of experience when it comes to dealing with the world's largest, most complex data warehouses for the most sophisticated audience. Now, it's really important to build a product that's extensible for those types of users, but also easy enough to use by the less technical audience. And we've seen our product become a more universal solution so that way we can still accommodate those really sophisticated data engineers and data architects, but provide a product with usability for your less technical data analyst or business analyst team and everything in between. And we saw that show up in the sake of Tube Science where they were able to build out their entire data operations very quickly without traditional experience when it comes to data warehousing, at least from the practitioner which helped serve as a force multiplier for their team to get into production quickly, but also in a way that's sustainable for the future, regardless of skill set. And that's very much the best of both worlds. 100%. You know, it's great to be joined by one of your customers in Tube Science. Jay, from your perspective, how is Coles, in combination with the data cloud, allowing your team to gain insights from your convergent optimized videos? Yeah, great, thanks. So uh, at, at Tube Science, Pairing Coalesce with Snowflake provides us with several distinct advantages. Uh, with Coalesce, we get uh, auto-coding, auto-documentation, uh, column lineage, table lineage, and these things have allowed us to accelerate our development pipeline. Uh, so we decrease our time to market for new data insights, uh, while very important to me, gaining trust with our internal customers. Uh, with Snowflake, too many things to say, right? So I'll focus on Great the thing. To hear. That, <laughs> I'll focus on the thing that's always been exciting to me is separating compute from compute. I've had uh, the challenge in the past of having to, um, you know, run things at the same time, and one thing is getting impacted by the other by contention. So separating compute from compute is is amazing, and you know these things paired together uh, really allow our strategists to get the insight they need from the data which will allow them to iterate on what is working and learn from what is not. You know, gentlemen, I want to pivot slightly. Yeah. Top of mind across the board for executives is Gen AI and LLMs. Yeah. For both of your perspectives, what impact do you see this having on your respective business? Armin, if you'd like to start. Yeah, well, first off, what Snowflake's doing is wonderful because they're allowing people and users to be able to perform and accommodate things and use cases like LLMs and AI. Now, typically, in order to get there, you need to have your data transformed properly in a way that's sustainable with proper lineage, like Jane was saying earlier. And so what we've seen is we want to continue to be a technology that allows any data practitioner to be as effective as possible on Snowflake within the Snowflake ecosystem. And they go through the journey of taking that raw data, preparing it properly with proper lineage and documentation, and then unlocking those AI, ML use cases. And so we've got some cutting edge customers within the Coalesce ecosystem that have been able to take advantage of some of Snowflake's native functionality by really quickly being able to build those pipelines and unlocking those types of use cases once they've been built because they know that they can be pulling from properly curated data sets. Whereas if you can't have that underlying foundational effort and focus done properly, then it's gonna make it really difficult to perform any type of Gen AI or ML use case down the line. And so really we wanna focus on being able to provide a universal solution that accelerates those development timelines to get to that next generation use case of an AI or ML instance. Great to have that perspective, Armin. Thank you. And Jay, from your perspective. Yeah, I can't get into just specifics of what we're doing in Tube Science, but I can kind of call out three areas around content. Uh, there's content creation, content moderation, and content cataloging. With creation, uh, we could uh, automatically create uh, multiple ad copies. With uh, moderation, we can make sure that it uh, adheres to uh, platform standards and more importantly, our clients' uh, uh, brand guidelines. 
Uh, and with uh, cataloging, uh, we have an extensive video library uh, enabling us to auto tag stuff uh, would just be amazing. And all of these things together would just be a multiplier in our efficiency. Thanks, Jay. Armin, I want to get personal with you okay. slightly. Um, in your seat as, as CEO and co-founder, you know, what are you hearing from executives and how is Coalesce adapting to an ever-changing environment to meet your customers' needs? Yeah, I'm, I'm seeing and hearing a lot around wanting to get to this next generation of insight-focused use cases. So things like Gen AI, certainly a part of that. ML use cases are certainly a part of that. But what one thing is that we're very passionate, one problem we're very passionate about solving is the step to get there. And you're seeing so many companies struggle with data projects taking too long, being way too prone to failure. And we wanna eliminate that plaguing problem that's been around for decades through automation. So we can then allow users to get to these more fun, exciting use cases that are just now breaking through within the platform on Snowflake's technology. And so really being able to automate as much as possible leading up to those use cases, along with those use cases on Snowpark, are where we're seeing executives focus. It's just about how we get there. And we wanna play a key role in making that happen for all of our customers. You know, gentlemen, I know we've covered a lot, but now I wanna to look towards the future. What's next for Coalesce and Tube Science? Respectively, Jay, if you'd like to kick us off. Yeah, that's a great question. Uh, for Tube Science, we really want to get into the predictive and prescriptive phase of our journey. And, uh, you know, with, with Coalesce and Snowflake, we have the ability to do this. We can build in those large language models and uh, machine learning models through what you guys have to offer or through the APIs to the different plat platforms. And uh, we can integrate those with the external functions in Snowflake so that we can build those in our coalesce driven pipeline right into the progression of the data through the pipeline so our insights are immediate. Not as opposed to in a lot of organizations, you know, the data scientists might pull the stuff out, the insights may sit completely separate and you gotta try to get them back. I wanna build it into the pipeline so it's there and we can be on our dashboard. Seems inefficient. <laughs> um, Armin, anything else you'd like to add? I, I just would like to add that our whole focus is around automation. And, and one thing we love about the expansion of Snowflake's platform is the ability to move in the same pace as Snowflake at their level of innovation, but by bringing a technology that makes it easier to interact with Snowflake, faster to interact with Snowflake, and ultimately just a more efficient, more sustainable technology pairing for all of our customers that roll with Snowflake and Coalesce, similar to Jay at Tube Science. Well, an exciting next chapter for both of you. Thank you so much for joining me on Data Cloud Now. It's always a pleasure. Thanks, Ryan. Well, thank you for having us. Yeah. And for the audience watching, I'm Ryan Green. We'll see you soon.